Before getting into action with respect to basic DML and queries or CRUD operations, we need to prepare tables. At this time, we have not covered DDL yet. All database operations related to managing tables come under DDL. For now, let's just create the table by copy pasting or using below create table statement. We'll get into concepts related to DDL as part of the subsequent sections. To create the table, we have to connect to the database and have to run this statement to create the table. The statement looks like this. So you can actually use the Jupyter based environment also to connect to the database as long as you have something called as SQL magic. In our environment, we have already set up and hence I'm using it. But if you are not comfortable with Jupyter, you can also use SQL Workbench and you can actually perform most of these steps using SQL Workbench. So in this case, to connect to database using Jupyter based SQL magic, we have to create an environment variable called as database URL with SQL alchemy style database URL. This is how it will look like. I have covered this already, so I am not getting into too many details here. Let me run this to create this environment variable. Now, whenever I run the query, it will automatically connect to the database and run the queries. However, if you are not using Jupyter based environment to interact with the databases, you can always use SQL Workbench, connect to the database and perform most of these operations which I am seeing without writing any queries. In this case, let me launch SQL Workbench as well. Already I have the profile for this uh, database using user sms underscore user. Let me connect to the database using this uh, information. And if you go to the database explorer, you can see the objects here and you should be able to see the objects directly here. If you want to use uh, a Jupyter based environment, you have to run the queries here. However, don't try to use both the tools at the same time. It might end up locking objects at the database level and you might run into some issues. Now you can see that there is a users table, table T, sequence, and also there is a sequence for user. Let me close this tab. Now, if you want to get similar information using Jupyter based environment, the only way is to write the queries. If you do not write the queries against metadata tables or information schema tables, you will not be able to get the details about tables, columns, etc. So if you want to get the list of tables that are there as part of the database at this time using uh, itversity underscore sms underscore db database and schema public, this is how you can get the information by running this query. Now I want to drop the table if you take this. Let me run this. Now the table is dropped. Now you can actually run this to validate. You can see that there is only one table by name t. If I go back here and if I go to the database explorer, I will be seeing only one table here by name t. You can see here, there is a table by name T and a sequence, TI sequence. Users and user sequence are already dropped. Now I can actually create the table using this command. Don't worry too much about uh, the command, just run it. Now you can actually go to the SQL workbench and uh, refresh this. You should be able to see the users table and the sequence related to users table, which is nothing but user ID sequence. It will show up in a moment. Sometimes if it doesn't show up, just reconnect and it will work without any issues. The reason why it was not showing up earlier is because the session is connected earlier and then we have dropped and created the table and it is not showing up immediately. If it is not showing up immediately, just reconnect and it should work. Now you can see the table users and also users user ID sequence that are created after running this create table statement. Now you can scroll down and you can actually run this query to validate that there is a table by name t. If you want to get the details about sequences, you need to understand what is that view which have the sequence related information and you can take it further. You can get the column level details for users by running this query. You can see there are 10 columns here. User ID is the one which is populated using sequence. All the information is provided here. Actually, the wizards which you see here are primarily based on the metadata views such as uh, columns, tables, etc. Now let me close this database explorer. If you have database explorer here and also if you are trying to simultaneously perform operations using Jupyter Hub or even your application, there might be locks and it can cause issues. That's why I always close database explorer whenever I do not use it. Now I can actually run this query called as select star from users as we have just created the table and have not populated any data into the table. It is not returning anything. Once we populate the data in this table, we should be able to see the results when we run the queries against this table. As we are done with create table, now let's talk about inserting data into the table. We'll be using users itself to insert data into the table. 